There are six races total in Blocks Fruits, and each race has their own unique awakening powers, and I've awakened them all, but not fully. See, each race gets their own awakening move, along with upgrades to make them stronger, and I haven't maxed out a single race. So in this video, I'm going to be upgrading all six races to their maximum potential in 24 hours. Starting off with one of the most boring races in the game, we have the Mink Race. Now this one, I don't even think I have fully upgraded, so we're about to do a trial. Now that the full moon has come out, let's go talk to the Redhead, which is over here, and he says you're ready for the next trial, so I don't even have this thing fully mastered out. All right, so we got to do a trial. Trial starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're about to do this trial. I think I need to find the thing. I have 51 seconds to find it. Come on, come on, come on. Damn, I haven't done this thing in a long time. This is no way I fail this, brother. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, I found it. All right, now we have to just defeat these other two random players, which the second strongest dude is 3.9 million, so I think I should be straight. And boom, 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 boom. Okay, okay, okay. You defeat this guy. All right, all I need to worry about is this guy right here. Come on, come on, come on. Armor breaker. Boom, 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 boom. Typhoon toss. There we go. Yep, yep. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. G, G. That was crazy. Interact. There we go. I'm about to get the final gear. First, we had Whirlwind for tier one. Then for tier two, we had Lightning Cloak for this one. I'm going to do Upgrade Tornadoes Become Much Stronger. And then Lightning Cloak Upgrade allows the user to super dash by holding a dash function. I think I'm going to go with that one. All right, let's do that. And that is the final gear. Now, all we have left to do is training sessions, which you guys can see right here. It says energy training, improves transformation duration and energy gain obtained from trainers. So now what we got to do is we got to go back to Redhead. And if we talk to him right now, Ancient One, you're ready for the next upgrade. This will cost you 3,000 fragments. I do not want to spend a Robux, so I ain't gonna lie, we gotta go on a fragment grinding session. Now, there are several methods of obtaining fragments in this game, but before we go ahead and do that, let's show the new race ability we just got. Gotta charge up my V4 bar first. Let me just fight these NPCs. I think that'll do it. My V4 bar is going up a decent amount just by beating one of these. What if I just gathered a bunch of NPCs? Maybe that'll charge up a lot quicker. Get all them boys up, Soul Guitar. Boom, boom, boom. Look at it. Look at that. That thing going up quick now. Sheesh. One more hit. And there we go. We have Meek fully charged. Let's go ahead and transform. Now, normally you just have the dashes like this and you have the super speed, but apparently now I have a dash. Oh, what you do is you hold Q and now you have like a charge dash. I didn't even have that before. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, now that we've got that out the way, we've got to get these fragments up because 458 is just not enough to upgrade to the next level of training. Now, one of the best methods I think to farm fragments is doing sea events. So if we go over to Tiki Outpost, spawn a lantern boat, and then we head out to sea. Once we reach a good danger level zone we can spawn sea events and those will drop good fragments so if we go ahead and just kill this thing right here we should be able to get a decent amount of fragments and it's not hard to defeat whatsoever magma shower magma hound and there we go we got 75 fragments for that damn that's actually not as good as i thought it would be i thought i'd get more than that what we're looking for i think is the sea beast give the most magma shower there we go damn my boat got destroyed bruh that is toxic okay take two we're looking for a sea beast here we go right here boys let's quickly vanquish this thing let's see how much it gives us got my friend rip rise here this is about to be a breeze take care of this thing won't be no problem for us volcanic storm boom and we got 150 fragments for that one sea beast okay that is not bad at all if we fight a bunch of those we'll have enough in no time got a terror shark now hopefully this thing drops fragments if not i ain't gonna lie that'll be toxic okay let me just quickly try to take care of this boy i'm a shower and we got some ghost ships okay this is perfect all three of these together will give us a bunch of fragments got 25 fragments from the ghost ship here we go here we go 25 more fragments that i really can't even see anything right now all i know is the terror sharks right over here and there we go 300 fragments off the terror shark okay perfect 2000 more if we get that next upgrade we need like one or two more sea events. Another sea beast here. Can't even see anything, but uh, we, we, we packing that dude up though. Here he goes. Another 150 frags. Nice. We got a rumbling waters. This is perfect. Tons of fragments there. I'll have to get my V4 bar too, so we'll get some good training off of this. Pop that. 150 frags there. And last sea beast. 3,300. We're ready to go upgrade to the next training. Ready for the next upgrade. This cost you 3,000 fragments. There we go. Bye. And now that we obtained the final gear from the trial and upgraded our race, we have a few more steps to go. So if we talk about the ancient one, he says, it seems that you've mastered the trials. If you're interested, I can help you further with four more training sessions. And with these training sessions, it'll make our awakening stronger and last longer. Let's go ahead and press teach me. Come back when you've trained more. If we check the wiki to see our progress, this is where we're at now. Training progress number one. To get to number two, we need 10 minutes of awakening time and also 3,250 fragments. And then after that, we have to go through training number three, four, and five. But we've got a bit before we can fully master out me. We have a problem though, boys. I need fragments as I got none. And we also need to do training sessions, which means we need to do our awakening. And the only way we could do that is by doing raids. So let's go ahead and do a raid real quick and let's see how efficient this is we're about halfway through the first time right now i've already got two bars worth of my v4 so i think this is actually going pretty decent at this rate we should get a full awakening bar by island three there we go island one is done and we're about halfway through okay that's not bad that's not bad here we go here we go halfway through island two we're almost there boys we're almost there we got about 60 percent of our bar charged let's quickly zoom through these there we're already almost there we only need a bar and a half left sheesh a couple more hits and we'll be at full one two 
three. And there we go. All right, perfect. Now what I do is I transform into my V4. We got to try to do as much damage to keep it lasting as long as possible. Because in order to get to the next training session, we need to have at least 13 minutes worth of awakening time. That, that might take us a while, I ain't gonna lie. Also, I'm just now realizing this is probably not the most efficient way to train our thing, but we need the fragments. So this is the best thing I can come up with for the moment. My awakening bar is running out quick. What the hell? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. This, this is not efficient at all. You need to deal a stupid amount of damage to charge that thing. All right, we're at Island 4, but I think my awakening is gonna run out before Island 4 is even done. Goal is to keep this thing on as long as possible. So I need to deal as much damage. I only have like 30% of my bar left and I've been doing constant damage. This is impossible. This is impossible. And my V4 has just run out. Okay, so this is not efficient whatsoever. Well, the final boss is about to go down now. So if anything, I was just an easy 1,000 fragments. I didn't get much training time though. And raid done. Easy 1,000. They're saying in chat, we will do four more and go back to the temple. All right, sounds like a plan. May not be the most efficient, but I still need the fragments either way. With this, we should at least get a minute or two of awakening time, which is not so bad to be honest. Next raid completed. Another 1,000 fragments. Got one more to go. Then we go back to the temple. This is a lot of work for just one race, man. To think I got five more to go after this. About to get my final awakening after this one. We should have enough to upgrade to the next training session. There we go. Boom. One last NPC here. And final raid done. Oh, another thousand fragments. We got 5,400. There's no way we don't have enough training sessions now. Ancient one. You ready for the next upgrade? This will cost you 3,250. Yes, sir. All right, let's buy that. And now we're like 60% done with Meek. We only have three more training sessions to go. But instead of doing raids or sea events to get the training, I think I want to try a different method. Straight packing people up in a public server. You know, I need some bounty anyways. We're getting close to that 30 million. If we equip both Shark Anchor and Pale Scarf, now we're able to see where players are at all times. Oh, and there's someone else right here. And you're going to help me get my bar. Boom, boom, boom. Pack them up. Don't go away. Matter of fact, come in my domain with me. You're here and you're going to help me. Why do they keep resetting? Oh my gosh. I literally only got two bars off of him. The issue is since I'm almost 29 million bounty, these people die too quick. They can't give me much bar. Let's see how much this guy gets me. Let's see how much this guy gets me. Boom. All right. All right. Damn. He only got me to half of my bar. That's crazy. Okay. What about this guy? What about this guy? Let's see this Buddha. He should get me a lot of bar. Please don't die before I get my awakening. Please don't die before I get my awakening. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, damn, damn. He's doing a lot of damage. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That was just what I needed to get my awakening. All right, now that I got my awakening, your time is up, buddy. You should at least get a couple of minutes of awakening from this guy, at least like one or two. But sadly, your time is up, buddy. Your time is up. GG. Now the goal is just to try to get as many kills as possible so we keep that thing up. Right, here we go. Got a full lot of them now. Got a full lot of them now. Let's get it. Let's get it. I think this is a 20 million bounty player too. This should charge up my bar. Nice. Boom. Let's get him here. Typhoon toss. Got him there. Boom. Light work. Now I got this damn love user here. You ain't gonna escape from me, buddy. Get off of that damn flamingo, buddy. Nope. Nope. Your death is gonna get me my awakening, buddy. Boom. Get him there. Come on, just a little bit more. Our bar's almost full. Our bar's almost full. Looks like there's a lot of people at Tiki Outpost. Let me go Tiki. Boom. Get him. And I got my awakening. Easy. Now let me just fight these boys. Look at this. Look at this. Fighting these boys is literally keeping my bar full. It's draining, and then it's literally just refilling itself. Look at that. I'm literally back to full already. This dude right here is not about to skate. Boom. 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 Easy. Look at that. My bar's just staying at full by fighting these players. Couldn't find anyone else, so my awakening's about to disappear now. But I feel like that was at least a good three minutes of awakening there. One more good fight, and we should be able to get the next training session. I see some players over here at Port Town. Oh, that's good bro. What's good, bro? Boom, boom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He didn't even have enough health to get me the half bar. Okay. Total mansion. Oh, there's players fighting over here. Perfect. 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 Need you to charge up my bar, man. If you ain't charging my bar, you're useless to me. And we got our bar. Perfect. 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 Now what we do? Pack him up. Oh, he literally just ran into my move. <laughs> And there goes my awakening. All right, I think we should be good enough. Let's go to Great Tree and check with the Ancient One. Also, we're going to need hundreds of thousands of fragments this video. So instead of grinding out, I've loaded up $50 worth of Robux. 16, 32, and here's 48,000 fragments. We should be good for the rest. All right, let's go talk to the Ancient One. There's no way we don't have our next training session done. You ready for the next upgrade? Yes, sir. 3,500. And now let's see what he says next. I can help you further with two more training sessions. We are almost completely done with the Mink race. But for these next ones, I ain't going to lie. We're going to use the most efficient efficient method of all. Instead of doing all those extra methods, we could just hit our friends, get the bar charged up that way, and then instantly transform. I hit my friend right here. You guys can see my bar is literally going up a lot. That's crazy. It'll only take us about like another 20 minutes. This should be the final transformation here. Ancient one, you ready for the next upgrade? Yes, sir. Now we have one more left. My friend just thought of a W idea here to train even faster. He pulled out Phoenix and he's healing us. Then he's just letting me hit him down to get my bar up. That's actually OP. 
All right, we're back at Redhead Essence. He says, perfect. It seems you've made this power your own. I've done all I can for you. So that is the meek race completely maxed out. Only took us like three hours and we still have five more races to go. And for the next race, we're going to do an interesting one. This is a race I've literally only used once. I haven't even used it since I awakened it a single time. Would you like to change the race to ghoul again? Yes, sir. Now, just like Meek, I know for a fact I haven't gotten the final gear for this race. So what we've got to do is we have to find a full moon once again and do a trial. Lucky for me, the next moon in my private server is about to be a full moon. Now, before we do that, I need to check with the Ancient One to see if I'm even ready to do a trial. Ancient One, in order to participate in the next trial, we'll have to go through three additional training sessions. This will help you last longer transformed. Oh my God, I haven't even done that. That's crazy. Come back, we've trained more. Okay, we've got a lot of training to do if I want to make that full moon trial. My friends say in the chat, we got it easy. Yes, sir. We about to do all three of these training sessions before that full moon even comes up. Here we go. My awakening bar is full. And to be honest, I forgot what Ghoul V4 even does. So let's check this out. She Emo Winter in the building, bro. Rip Rise is saying best race. <laughs> yeah, all right, bro. What does this thing even do? I think the V3 gives me a 40% quicker cooldown. Oh, damn. Look at that. My blood brain drain is like so quick. It's already off cooldown. Okay, no, no, no. That's crazy. Also, I believe I have health orbs. Whenever I hit him, I hear a little doom sound effect. Yeah, look at that. Every time I hit him, my life goes up just a little bit. Okay, so Ghoul V4's got some interesting capabilities to it. I'm not going to lie. You ready for the next upgrade? This will cost you 2,250. All right, next training done. One more left. One more left. This is bad. This is bad. A full moon just started. And I, I don't have enough training sessions to do the next trial. All right, I've been in the farm for about 10 minutes. I think we should be able to get the last training sessions right now. We have like three minutes left of the full moon, so we got to be quick. We got to be quick. Ancient one. You ready for the next upgrade? Perfect. You ready for the next trial? Say less, say less, say less. Okay, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. Where, 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 where's the ghoul one? Where's the ghoul one? Here's the ghoul one right here. Here's the ghoul one right here. Three, two, one, go. Hopefully, time this right. Trial started. Yes, sir. We barely just missed that, boys. We had like two minutes to spare. All right, all I got to do is defeat the enemies to survive. This one's a really easy trial. I ain't going to lie. Let me ask you this. Get all these boys. Matter of fact, let me just defeat them all with my sword. Pack them up. Boom. Easy. Light work, light work. Come on, come more NPCs. Come more NPCs. One more, one more, one more. What? No, no. I actually failed the trial. Oh my God, I'm such a seller, bro. Now we need to find a whole nother full moon. That's crazy. All right, boys, we got another full moon. Go ahead and do the trial. And this time, hopefully we don't fail. Our trial starting in five, four, three, two, one. And this time, I ain't gonna fail. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Pack these boys up. And there we go. All right, bad, 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 bad. Now, some random dude joined us apparently. So we're gonna have to like literally just spam this dude right here. That dude Naruto right there. Boom. We're gonna have to spam him. Oh, he's ice. He's ice. Actually, let me shift out of Buddha. Let me shift out of Buddha. This boy has gotta die. This boy has gotta die. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Boom. There he goes. We packed him up. All right, now, Marais, go ahead and reset for me, man. There we go. Final trial completed for Ghoul. Now I just gotta get that last gear. It's crazy how many races. I didn't get the final gear for man. I cut too many damn corners when it came to awakening these things. All right, here we go. Final gear for this. We have two choices. Domain expansion, upgrade upon dashing. Crows will attack nearby enemies, increase your field range. Or blood siphon, the life leech effect is increased greatly. I think for this one, honestly, I'm going to go for the dashing crows one. There we go. Final trial. Now what we got to do is do five more training sessions once again with Ghoul. Except this time, we're doing it with the friends the entire way through because I am not about to spend another two hours grinding this out. Now with that upgraded gear we just got when I dash. You guys can see I have these little crows around me. It's actually kind of cool to be honest. I feel like Tachi or something. <laughs> And all right, we should have enough to be able to get the first session. There we go. Four more to go for Ghoul. This is taking so long, man. I have to be in this transformation for 10 minutes. And then after that, I have to do 13 minutes. And then after that, I got to do 15 minutes. This is about to take us all day to get all these races. Also, it definitely doesn't help that I can't see anything in Ghoul before. So it's not like I have anything cool to look at. Okay, we should have a next one available. You ready for the next one? Bet. Now we just have to do that again, except for 13 minutes this time. That should do it for that session. Let's talk to the ancient one. You ready for the next upgrade? There we go. With that, we now have 60% of the ghoul race completely mastered out. Two more sessions to go. Let's speed run this. There we go. Transform. And now we need to stay transformed for 15 minutes in order to get the next training. And on top of this, I did some math for this. And in order to fully master out each race, it's going to take a minimum of 64 minutes per race to fully master it out. So, man, we, we ain't here for a long haul, bro. We got at least minimum four more hours to go to get the rest of the races. And that's not even factoring in the gears that I haven't gotten for the other races. But let's just make this quick for this training session. One more minute left. And we should be good now. Ancient one. Let me see. You ready for the next? All right, there we go. We have one more transformation left for ghoul. Let's make it quick. A few minutes later. Finally, we have the last ghoul upgrade. There we go. I felt like it took twice as long as Meek, man. I don't know why. You've made this power your own. I've done all I can for you. Now it's time to move on to the next race. We have four remaining. And for the next one, I think I'm going to go with Angel. Hopefully I get Angel the first time. I don't want to have to spend a bunch of ropes to get Angel and Rabbit. 
Okay. Do it again. Let's do it again. Yes, sir. Angel second time. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Now, the only thing I have to hope is that I have all the gears for this because otherwise we're going to need to do another full moon. All right, Ancient One, tell me my fate. Do I need to do another trial? You're ready for the next upgrade? This costs you 2000 Okay, bye. No, I need to do more training sessions. Oh, I need to do another trial. I don't have the last gear. I thought I did a lot of preparation, but it seems like I cut too many damn corners when I was awakening these races, man. Why did I not get the final gear in a lot of these races? All right, we got my Angel V4. Let's check out this transformation. This is probably my favorite one aesthetically. Like, look at that. Bro, standing there like a god. Also, what's cool with this is you can literally like fly with this one pretty damn fast. So this is good for running. And on top of it all, man, you can literally make people kneel before you. Look at that. <laughs> I'm making this man kneel, bro. Where you think you're going? Where you think you're going, bro? Where you think you're going? All right, I quickly just did the training off screen. You're ready for the next upgrade. There we go. Now he's saying you're ready for the next trial. All right, so we're going to get this last gear for Angel that I thought I already had. And then we got to do the next five training sessions over again. And all right, we got the full moon. Now let's just quickly do this trial. I don't even know what the final gear for Angel V4 does, so we gotta figure that out ourselves, man. All right, here we go. Angel right here. All I gotta do is just do some parkour thing. Some of these little clouds be disappearing, though, so we gotta be careful with that. All right, so this one in front of me is invisible. No worries, I could just go like this. And last but not least, all right, all right, all right. These boys just gonna reset for me. Trial completed. All right, let's go up to the clock and let's see what the final gear is. King's rule, all effects are increased greatly. I, I mean, that sounds kind of boring. Prince of the Skies, all effects are increased greatly. So Angel V4 doesn't get any crazy upgrades for, you know, their tier twos. Well, for this one might as well make king's rule greater so let's upgrade that and now we've got to do the five training sessions with angel you're ready for the next upgrade all righty that's one training session out the way four more to go for angel should be done with the next training session you're ready for the next upgrade yes sir now, i forgot to record one so we only need two more remaining that will be done with angel boy this is taking a lot longer than i thought man 15 minutes later, we have the next upgrade. Another 3,000 fragments. One more training session left, which is going to take us at least another 18 minutes minimum. And finally, we're about to get 100% of Angel V4 awakened. There we go. Final upgrade. And he said, we've made this power your own. Yes, I have. That is halfway through the video. We have three more races remaining, which are the human race, the cyborg race, and the shark race. And the next race we'll be doing will be determined by what I get from this change race. Rabbit. Okay. Okay, obviously that's not gonna work. We already we already awakened that one. What will we get next? What will we get next? Shark it is, man. Shark it is. That's what we're awakening. Now for this one, I hope I have all the gears. I'm pretty sure I do. This is one of the main races I used to use back in the day. I really don't know though at this point. It seems like I've been slacking a lot when it comes to these race awakening videos. Come on, redhead. Please just tell me I need a couple training sessions. Ancient one, you're ready for the next upgrade. This will cost you 3,000. Oh, I'm pretty sure that means we got all the gears then. Okay, there's buy. Perfect. Talk to him again. Four more training sessions. Yes, sir. So we already got all the gears for shark. That means we only need four more training sessions before we can get this one fully mastered out this will be the quickest one we've had to do yet bro i actually haven't even used shark v4 in so long this is like kind of op like look if i hit him it slows him down puts this little thing around him and i got this little shark that gives me like a little bubble like the more i hit him the more my bubble increases you guys can see there i just i just accidentally killed him <laughs> we tell my bad bro my bad <laughs> i'm so happy i got this thing fully maxed out though that way we can get it done quicker all right, that should be good enough. Let's go check out the ancient one. You ready for the next upgrade? Okay, perfect. About 60% done with shark. We have three more training sessions to go. This is about to be our quickest one yet. All right, should be ready to get the next one. Let's see, hopefully I don't have to do this again. You ready for the next upgrade? Yes, that's what I love to hear. Bye. How many more we need? Two more. Light work. I think that means we at least need to wait another 32 minutes before we get this thing fully maxed out. For y'all though, y'all won't even notice. Power of editing, bro. The power of editing. Next transformation. I feel like I've done this like so many times. I've been doing this for like literally 12 hours. I'm losing my mind. We only have two more races to go though. Ancient one, please tell me I'm ready. Yes, it's exactly the words I wanted to hear. You're ready for the next upgrade. By that, to be honest, like after I'm done with this video, like I think I'll be genuinely close to 100% in block shoots. Like what's left after this? Titles? What's after titles? Literally nothing, I don't think. Maybe a few other accessories that I haven't gotten yet. Either way, man, we're, we're so close to 100%ing block shoots. But enough of that. Let's focus on just getting this last training session. And we're done, ready for the next trial. That is 100% Shark V4 mastered out. We've made this power our own. Two races left, and the next one is gonna be human. Now, aside from Ghoul, this is actually the race I use the least. Like, I can't remember a single occasion where I've actually used human race, because the V3 is kind of useless, I'm gonna be honest. But in terms of V4s, there is no V4 cooler 
than the human v4 look at that man it looks like a demon straight devious if someone came to you charging to you looking like this I, I wouldn't want to mess with him man look at them eyes definitely my favorite race visually i'm not gonna lie now, i'm pretty sure i already have all of the gears for this one but just to make sure we're gonna check you're ready for the next upgrade this will cost you 3250 yes sir we already have all the gears and i'm pretty sure i've already trained this one a decent amount let's see how many more training sessions we need only three more oh that's perfect that's perfect yo we're so close to already mastering out this thing we're already like 70 percent the way done we just need a few more training sessions and we're done with this one then we have one final race boys i've been up for 12 hours grinding all of these things i honestly didn't think this was gonna be that long of a video to be honest but we're almost done bro, why don't i use this race more this is actually so sick you get dashes that make you invisible and your moves can't be interrupted when you use moves while invisible that's that's crazy hold on let me actually test something real quick let me heal him up real quick let me do a soul guitar let's see how much damage that does yo what bro i just got him like damn near the full he's almost dead off of one move nah okay you know what when this is said and done i might actually main human before this is too insane all right let's talk back to the ancient one i should be ready you ready for the next upgrade just two more training sessions All right, now we're ready for the upgrade. There we go. One more training session. And then we have one final race, which is Cyborg. The finish line is near. This will all be worth it in the end, though, because all of my races will be fully maxed out, which means whenever I'm getting jumped in a public server, my V4 will literally last like 10 minutes long. All right, I'm pretty sure I've been doing it for long enough. Let's see if we're ready for the final upgrade. Yes, we are ready for the next upgrade. This will cost you 4,000. Let's buy that. It seems you've made this power your own. I've done all I can for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We've got maxed out human V4. And with that, we have one final race left to awaken. And it is the cyborg race, which we can only obtain the second C similar to ghoul. So let's make our way over there. Let's teleport to lab, talk to this thing over here, and there we go. We have the cyborg race. Now, I've used this race quite a bit, so I'm pretty sure I have all the gears for this one, but we're just going to go confirm ourselves. I'm almost 100% certain that I have all of the gears for this one. In fact, I'm so confident that if I don't have all the gears, I will actually give away a random permanent kit soon. All right, ancient one, do not make me do this, man. You ready for the next upgrade? 3,500? Yes, sir. Oh, wee. I swear I would have actually given away the permanent kit suit if I didn't have the gears. But let's do that. And I think now we only have have like two more yo this is the furthest progressive one i've had i knew it w we just need two more training sessions and we've got this one fully mastered out we're about like 80 percent done with cyborg right now you know what i have the perfect method for cyborg to master this out quick so unlike the other races cyborg when you're in v4 it has these things called orbs which allow you to attack any npc or person in the nearby area now, this makes it very easy for us to farm our awakening all we need to do is go over the chocolate land hit these npcs here we go my v4 bar is charging up really fast as you guys can see See down there like this this thing charges up quick we'll have it in just a few seconds matter of fact i think we'll have it within these npcs let me pack these boys up there we go already got that thing okay boom cyborg v4 now look now look boys i hit one of these npcs it instantly hits all the nearby ones see that look at my bar it's not even dropping right now and it's literally staying full so you know what that means boys we have a quick little training montage it wouldn't be a clouds video without a training montage man couple more seconds and it'll be 15 minutes three two one and we should be good okay you ready for the next upgrade bye we have one more training session left 18 minutes from now it'll be completed three more seconds boys three more seconds three two one and it's been 18 minutes let me stop my little timer and let's make our way over to the final upgrade of the video i'm so happy i've never been so happy to finish the video actually i take that back i feel this way every time i do noob to pros but this one particular was so boring for me man ancient one make this power mine yes sir final upgrade bye there we go it seems you've made this power your own i've done all i can for you all six races completely awakened and all six races fully upgraded to max we are now one step closer to 100 percenting block spruce boys and y'all couldn't have known the grind this took me comment down what y'all want to see next and if y'all enjoyed this make sure to click on this video right here